Christmas in New York, part two. Thursday today, which means I'm still on holiday. I'm going to go into Manhattan and I've got a little bit of wrapping paper to buy, things like that. Um, also, normally this time of year, I buy my, you know, you get food treats, don't you? Like the stuff you don't normally buy in the year. So I'm going to go to Myers and pick up some food for myself. Now, to get to Myers, easiest way of doing this is just take the E train. It takes me all the way around and we'll look around the meatpacking district. <laughs> Been here before, this is Myers. It's where you go to get all your British snacks from. It looks busy. So that was a little bit more traumatic than I was expecting. Um, the queue's out the door. You kind of have to go in single file, place your order, go grab what you need, get in, pay, and get out again. I'm not sure what's going on with the light levels here. They're all funky. So I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down now, have a Mars bar. Uh, and then decide what else I need to get. I'm not going to tell you what I've got because that will ruin the surprise of Christmas Day. Change of plan, I'm going to go to Starbucks and have a cup of tea instead. struggling with the light levels today, I don't know why. Um, Starbucks was very kind of full and warm, so take my tea to go. <laughs> need to go get wrapping paper, haven't got that yet. And something else I'll be getting? I think I'm starting to miss that nice Sony camera, the way it managed the light levels, the depth of field. It did look a lot nicer. So there's nothing much going on. It's a little bit quiet. So we're going to go up to uh, maybe Times Squareish area? That should have some stuff going on. If not, find something. Sure I will. Bales will just go home. This is a very long walk, by the way. It's not cold today, which is good. I am literally just waffling. I've got nothing to say. Yeah, here's a bit. Um, New York Christmas versus a British Christmas. British Christmas, very Christy. Uh, over here, there's a, which obviously significant larger uh, Jewish community, so that's involved. Um, Hello. So, um, there's more of that bit of a diversity that goes on as well. Uh, the weather is actually nice. Like it's not grey and cloudy and cold, it's blue skies and the chill to the air. I'm looking forward to when it actually snows, it's nice thick deep snow and that'd be good. And because of New York's um, heritage and the way it was set up, it's a large Catholic community here as well. So back home in London there were more um, Muslims and uh, Christians, but most people are atheists. So people are a little bit more, again, diverse, but there's also more languages spoken. People travel in and out of Europe a lot more freely, for now at least. Do I celebrate Christmas? Not really. Christmas is just a very commercial uh, month of the year, wrapped around a pagan festival. I actually think celebrating New Year's is better. I think it allows you to celebrate your achievements for the year, allows you to reflect I think giving presents for New Year's to help somebody achieve their goals or improve their life is a nicer thing to do than buying somebody a gift that they want for some materialistic purpose. Now, I'm not a Scrooge, despite what people sometimes think about me. Do I expect presents? No. Do I want presents? Not really. I just think after, what, over a thousand years, we would have thought we'd have developed a little bit further as a society to accept the fact that there are different cultures and be a little bit more self-aware. So if people know they want to quit smoking, people make a New Year's resolution and then a month later, that's it. Hardly anybody really sticks with it. But what if it was a New Year's present? Somebody would give somebody to support them and help them and coach them through this. I mean, the only time I think Christmas and peace to um, all men on earth has ever really happened is in, uh, I think it was World War II when the uh, English and the German soldiers put down their weapons and played football. Like, that's nice. That just shows, like, we know each other as human. We know we've got families, and we're both being put into this horrific situation. But let's just be nice to each other. Maybe exchange some basic gifts. So that people don't buy thoughtful gifts. 
and know the person of what they're looking for to do with their life, where huge amounts of money is exchanged for gifts and goods, maybe there's a better use of it. Am I a family person? Not really. I think also a lot of the stuff we do for Christmas is tradition. We inherit it from our, our parents, they've inherited it from their parents, etc, etc. And actually if you step away from all of this, you don't really miss it. So I've been able to think a little bit clearer of like, why am I buying these presents for people? Like, I joked yesterday that, I joked yesterday that my brother has this room where he puts all the crap presents basically. And people have bought them with good intent thinking, oh, he'll like that or it's a bit of a joke. Why bother? It's a waste of your time and money. I have a really good friend called Diego. He used to um, be one of the concierge where I live. And he's Catholic. We've had some arguments. Mainly I tease him about his imaginary friend. Um, where he stormed out of the building and got quite upset. So I stopped doing that. Um, actually, I think he works around here. I might see if I can find him. I know Diego works around this area. So I may start walking into apartment buildings. So instead of where's Wally, I'm gonna play uh, where's Diego. It turned out to be a stunningly beautiful day. He's in my gimbal is playing up. Uh, I think it's got something to do with having to use a counterbalance weight to fix this. Um, going to meet up with Diego, say Merry Christmas, say how he's doing. Uh, we'll see how much battery I've got left and see what happens really. I'm going to take us to Lord and Taylor. They have a very nice Christmas display on at the moment.